Так, это танчик подорвавшийся. Сходу так и не определишь, правда, что за палка. Нормальная защита. Смотри, какая у него защита, братан. У него кирпичи защита были. Да, вот такую ямочку врывает. Противокумулятивный мангал был. Офигеть, он просто как чупа-чупа споткнулся в землю. Сложно представить, что такую машину можно так просто уничтожить. Ну это какая-то супермина была. Бля, что за танк? Ну да, у него какая-то не своя не свойственная, блядь. Пидорский танк 100%, потому что башня вообще какая-то другая. Я вот думаю, это не леопард случайно. Бля, башня вообще не свойственная. Я не знаю таких танков у нас. Блять, странная хуйня. Чего это, блядь? Кожа какой-то дополнительный стоит у него на этом. Бля, у того бы танка я тоже сходил. Какая-то это не наша хуйня. Ты думаешь? Маркировка наша, блядь, да. Это наша, это 90-е. Это 90-е? А что вот это за хуйня? А, да, 90-е. Это этот, вот как раз отвод от Тура. А, да? Это, да, 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 это 90 Ебать. Да, A shocking report by Financial Times columnist Gideon Rachman revealed North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's troops were gorging on pornography in their barracks, having never enjoyed such unrestricted access to the web, according to a usually reliable source. Just as the advent of Elon Musk's Starlink satellites transformed the lives of tribes deep in the Amazon rainforest almost overnight, many argue for the worse. The military men from Pyongyang were reportedly hooked immediately, Daily Mail says. It is noted that though full internet access is available for high-level officials and military figures in North Korea, the majority of citizens are only granted access to Kwangmyong or the Bright Star Network. This is the pariah state's only sanctioned web service and is a heavily firewalled and restricted version of the internet which does not permit access to any foreign websites, media or news services and is instead replete with state propaganda. Russia's state-run media and comms regulator Roskomnadzor also maintains an internet traffic regulation system known as TSPU, which was formalized in 2019 and requires Russian internet service providers to ensure government-supplied equipment is installed in their networks. 
But virtual private networks, tools that allow internet users to encrypt their data and mask their IP addresses to access sites abroad, are not yet banned and are widely used to circumvent the censors. Recall the North Korean troops in Russia have been divided into two units, one made up of assault troops and another of support troops who will organize the defense of territory captured from Ukrainian forces. There has been debate in Ukraine and among its allies about the military significance of the North Korean troops. Some officials have described their recruitment as an act of desperation by Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, whose forces continue to take territory in eastern Ukraine, but at huge losses. Others have said the decision to deploy the troops was meant to weaken Western resolve by showing that Russia remains far from isolated. The North Korean troops could also allow Russia to divert more of its forces to offensive operations on Ukrainian territory, in particular in the Donbass, where Russian troops are attempting to take as much territory as possible before the harsh winter sets in. It is not clear what Putin promised North Korean leader, if anything, in exchange for the troops. For now, American officials say they have seen no evidence of a quid pro quo. But there are concerns that Russia might provide some kind of significant military assistance that could enhance the danger North Korea poses to its neighbors and the United States. Russian troops resumed offensive operations in the area of Pogrebki, Darino, Zeleny Shlyak and Sudza in the Kursk region. Analysts from deep state of Ukraine claim that Ukrainian forces are repelling the enemy's counter-offensive in all directions of the Kursk region. The enemy's tactics are standard. The BMP transports infantry to the battlefield, parachutes in and enters the battle. The situation in Kursk region was commented on by the Ukrainian Armed Forces officer Alex on his social network page. According to him, the enemy is currently focusing on the Pogrebki area. However, the day before, Putin's army was missing 10 units of military equipment on this section of the front alone. The public, Bitly, also shared its opinion regarding the new offensive of the Russian armed forces in Kursk region. It refers to the OSINT investigator Kriegsforscher. Allegedly, Putin gave a new order to liberate Kursk region in two to three months, not days. The Ukrainian armed forces were already prepared for a new counter-offensive by the Russian Federation on November the 7th, which is what actually happened. As it turned out, Putin's army recently carried out a rotation in the Lyubimovka area. At the same time, units from the 810th Marine Brigade received 40 new BTR 8-2A, and the enemy's left flank was reinforced with another 5,500 Russian servicemen. In the Pogrebki area, the Ukrainian armed forces positions were attacked by the 83rd Airborne Brigade and the 51st Airborne Regiment. Despite the bad weather, they launched a mechanized attack. The 51st Regiment used five units of military equipment and seven buggies for the attack. As a result, all seven buggies, two BMD-2 and five BMP-3 units, remained on the battlefield. The 83rd Brigade left a T-80 tank and one BMP-3 on the battlefield. The 810th Brigade used 14 BTR 82A vehicles in the attack, 10 of which were destroyed by Ukrainian forces. Alex writes that North Korean soldiers are not yet visible, although they should be somewhere nearby. Let us recall that Ukrainian forces are actively using an old, proven method of fighting against enemy artillery.